All right. Uh, today we're going to build the catapult. I hope that you took my advice and tried to build one on your own with directions from the internet um, or out of your brain. Uh, and I hope that at this point you're just looking for suggestions because the idea behind this project is to get you into more the um, the design phase, uh, thinking about what makes a catapult? What can you put together to to have the kind of essential pieces of a catapult? So we're going to put it together. Um, so start with uh, taking your straws and making two triangles, two congruent triangles. Uh, as you can see, these line up nicely. Um, I use really big straws because it was easier. I only had to tape once in the corner. Um, once you have your triangle straws, you need to cut uh, three crossbars that are all the same length that you're, they're, they're going to be the width of your catapult. Um, and we're going to tape them on. I'm going to tape them at the, uh, the vertex of the triangles, or the vertices, so that we have maximum strength. And that will be out of the way of the catapult, the arm of the catapult, which you might also know as a spoon. Okay, one more. Okay, now we have the base of the catapult. Um, next, you're going to take a piece of paper and cut it just longer than the catapult. I did about an inch uh, over an inch on the edge because um, this piece of paper uh, came from a whole sheet of paper. And uh, then I folded it up into, again, about three quarters of an inch. That's a lot of paper. Again, this started as a full piece sheet of paper. Then I folded it up after cutting it into approximately three quarters of an inch tall. And tape it closed for stability. All right, now you're gonna fold the corners of the paper over the base straws. And again, that adds some uh, springiness uh, from the paper, but it's also going to add some stability. So take that on. Okay. Um, and now for the spoon. Uh, we're almost done, so we're going to take the spoon to the paper. Um, there's a couple of reasons we added the paper. Uh, one of them was that, it, like I said, it adds a little bit of springiness. It also adds some strength. If you just had taped this spoon to the straw, um, you're, if you just tape the spoon to the straw, your, um, your catapult wouldn't have lasted very long because you'd be putting a lot of stress on that little weak plastic. But when we um, tape the spoon to the paper, we're kind of putting that stress on the paper, and the paper is much better at bending than, than plastic is. All right, so we have our catapult. Let's test it. And you win. Good luck.